Holy and blessed Jesus Christ, the perfect radiance of the eternal Heavenly Father, who enlightens us with joy. As dust was in upon us, and the evening lights appear, we sing our praise-filled hymns to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Son of God, you deserve that every age joyfully sing your praise, for you give life, and so all the world gives to you its glory. As the day comes to an end, we say together, I acknowledge my sin to you, I do not cover over my iniquity. I confess my transgressions to you, and you forgive the guilt of my sin. Confident that those who seek the Lord God are thus assured of his peace, we say tonight, I lay my soul, my body, and all that I am, into the enfolding embrace of the Father who loves me, into the enfolding embrace of Jesus who gave his life as a ransom for me, into the enfolding embrace of the Spirit who lives within me. Tonight I lay my soul, my body, and all that I am, into the enfolding embrace of the threefold God, and there, I find my rest. Lord, we acknowledge that your word is a lamp for our feet and a light on our paths, and so we continue our readings in Mark's Gospel at chapter 4, verses 15 to 20, where Jesus, explaining the parable of the sower, says, Some people are like seed along the path where the word is sown, as soon as they hear it, Satan comes and takes away the word that was sown in them. Others, like seed sown on rocky places, hear the word and at once receive it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Still others, like seed sown among thorns, hear the word, but the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of wealth, and the desire for other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. Others, like seed sown on good soil, hear the word, accept it, and produce a crop, some thirty, some sixty, some hundred times what was sown. Lord Jesus, amid the troubles of our lives and the snares that encompass us, grant that your life be sown in us, and may it germinate and grow to our blessing and your glory. As the fountain in the garden, as the candle in the dark, as the treasure in the coffer, as the manna in the ark, so, Lord, are you to me. Thus may the sacred three, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, save, shield, and surround me, my home, my loved ones, my friends, and my world, and give to all his peace. Amen. <laughs>